all got good things must come to an end. And so welcome to the DNOC 15 closing. Still great to see so many people of you still being around here. And first and foremost, I'd like to say goodbye on behalf of the program committee. Um, obviously, these past two days wouldn't have been possible, first off, without the work of our program committee, but also, especially not without all our presenters and submitters, uh, those accepted and those who haven't been, those who just handed in a lightning talk, those who committed to a six-hour workshop. Thank you to all of them. Give them a big round of applause. Uh, also, if, if that's not obvious, this is going to be the workout session, so prepare for a lot of clapping. <laughs> um, then, also those talks wouldn't have been so nice if they wouldn't have been nicely heralded, both by our backstage herald in the front, uh, front row, but also by all heralds who relate your questions, moderated talks, give also them a warm welcome and a round of applause. <laughs> if you want to become a herald, uh, feel free to reach out at heralds at dnoc.de and we will happily uh, involve you in the next conference or other uh, event that will come up. Then, as mentioned, the PC, who I have the pleasure of last time chairing uh, this event. Uh, and just to make it clear, because I had like 100 people approach me, I'm not stepping down from DNOC, just from the program committee. So, of course. But thank you to the program committee. And also here, if you are interested in joining, reach out to Francisca or Sebastian at Francisca at or Sebastian at DNOC.de. Um, I think there will be a lot of developments we can communicate in the not too distant future on, on how that's going to look like. Um, so keep posted, check out the mailing lists. Then also rate the talks and conference. Um, there will be on the dnoc15.de a link to all surveys. It's also in Vendulous, uh, so please give us your feedback. It really helps us out in improving the conference, and we look at it every time we make decisions for future events. So it would really help us out. Then that's it from the PC side. Now I can talk a bit about tech and the infrastructure behind running this conference. Um, first off, I think the team that deserves a huge round of applause is the video team up there who have really committed to sitting through all the talks, cutting them with a lot of people, providing me on a big screen uh, and playing with this huge video of also huge round of applause to all of them. This year's event, now it's for a technical part, uh, we had a dedicated crew, crew of four people preparing for the event and five very committed angels uh, working on three separate mi uh, mixing desks throughout every talk and another separate back office uh, downstairs who re released and cut all the talks uh, in record time. We're going to get to this in just a second. This year, to imp even further improve uh, our production value, we switched to an all 4K setup so we can crop a bit more. Talks will still be released in 1080p, uh, but allowed us more flexibility in uh, producing the conference. Uh, the cameras up here is mainly a uh, Sony camera somewhere up there in the center uh, that is giving you a total view of the stage, and then those two PTZ cameras in the front rows who allow us to track the speakers uh, and provide you with the lovely image up there. Uh, then we have a big SDI crossbar that uh, every signal feeds into, multiple uh, cameras and, and multi-viewers to be aware of what to cut and what, what scene to use for next time. And given that this building is huge, we had to run quite a bit of cable. Um, you may have seen some parts of it. Most of it's coming just down on, on the right side there. It's very well hidden, uh, given for what it is. But yeah, we ran about 400 meters of CAT6 and another 400 meters of SDI uh, to, to use this. And we made use of the whole uh, CCC VOC uh, video pipeline, which also allowed us to even further release the talks to you. Um, if you want to have a look up there, um, this is the center stage, the mixing desk running or using vMix to um, composite all the video feeds into the uh, images you will see both on stream and up here. Um, and then we have a slide and PT set control desk. You can see there in the center two MacBooks, both of them are running the, um, the entire uh, presentations for the speakers and interfacing with this control I have in my hand. And then the PTC cameras need to be tracked. So if I move over here, then the camera will follow me. Um, that's also done up there. And lastly, uh, 
you all have seen this, uh, this LED wall, but the folks at home on screen may have not. Um, so yeah, this video wall is also a very nice addition to, to have here, uh, especially allowing everyone in the back rows to see the speaker, not just a random person speaking in front. With that, again, thank you to our video team. All talks of yesterday, most talks of today, are already up on YouTube, so you have something to do on the travel home if you missed the talk, uh, or on media.cccd, and the rest will follow very soon. I'm confident that we will have everything released by the end of the day. Then for the network. Uh, this year we had 100 gig IP transit from Deutsche Telekom. I think that's become a commodity for us now. We peaked at 7.2 gig, uh, which is mainly for, for video rendering. Uh, on site we had about 433 peak Wi-Fi clients served by 14 Ruckus APs. We were using QFX 5120 uh, in the core and then EX 4400s in the access. Um, the video team used an intercom solution, uh, which is Riedel Bolero S, uh, which you probably know mostly by the Bundesliga, which is what the referees use to communicate uh, with another. Uh, and then, as you can have seen, probably quite a few of us uh, running around with, with radios. We're using licensed DMR here, <coughs> because this location is actually quite big, and running around and finding everyone is not as easy as it was in Hamburg. Uh, so yeah, we have a repeater right behind, on stage, uh, behind the stage, which allows us to even use DMR radio up to the S-Bahn Station Heerstraße. Uh, not Heerstrasse, sorry, Sonnenallee. Heerstrasse would, would have been pushing it a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe next year. <laughs> Let's see what Bundesnetzagentur thinks about that. Um, but yeah, lessons learned in, in that is communication is key. Um, it's easy to get lost in this huge building. I'm sure you've, you've also lost a few people and found them like an hour later. Um, that's perfectly fine if you just want to grab a chat. If you're trying to run a conference, then it's better to have a radio and be able to quickly sync up. And also between the uh, back office herald here on stage and the video crew uh, to align when the next talk is going to start, the Riedel Bolero was really good for us uh, to be in sync between all parties involved in the video mixing. Uh, Network-wise, uh, on, on Sunday we had an interesting phenomenon uh, where we had router advertisements configured on our QFXs, uh, and even though all our devices installed IPs and default routes, uh, the traffic was never sent there, both on macOS and Linux. Uh, and so we, we tried to debug it, but didn't really find anything, so we switched just from that switch the router advertisements to a small Linux box with RADVD and everything worked. So uh, we assume it's a neighbor solicitation issue in Junos. We will debug this in the future. And uh, yeah, if, if something interesting comes out of it, we'll let you know in the next event. Uh, on day one also, one EX died. Luckily, we had a replacement in place, so that was uh, an outage uh, on, on day one. And then our D, uh, DMR repeater began rejecting some of our smaller radios uh, earlier this morning, but this was also fixed by a quick reboot. So all in all, I would say, uh, technology-wise, everything worked really well, and it was great fun. And yes, uh, we, we already mentioned it, this huge load of equipment, the, all the radios, uh, the, the IP transit, Wi-Fi, uh, switches and the like were provided by both DTAC and our Arbonne, so huge round of applause to them. <laughs> and with that, it's over to Tim. So hello everyone from my side. And we'll head over to some statistics, some uh, feedback from our features we had on this DNOC conference uh, this year. We were 447 on-site and at least 180 remote uh, participants. So we scaled really around 100 persons from last year. And uh, I hope uh, this went all smooth. The attendee t-shirt, most of you have picked it up. Um, I hope you like the color. <laughs> we are in Berlin, Berlin is uh, colorful. And if you haven't picked up your t-shirt, please do so at the info desk that it doesn't get lost somewhere in uh, transit. We will only ship the online ticket t-shirts, so please, please, please pick it up. Um, the favorite emoji statistic, it's getting a little bit less emojis as more people are um, on site here. And I think this year, uh, not so many people used venue less for um, chatting and also giving feedback with emojis. So here's the statistic. And uh, we could look on the agenda or try guessing at uh, which point in time which um, talk was on the stage. 
the attendee wall. We collected over 300 photos of you. So some maybe don't want to have a photo of themselves. Um, you can rate uh, the talks and give us feedback to the whole conference and give us a feedback um, for the 130 people who have no photos. Maybe why do you didn't like a photo or what you would like to see from yourself on the wall. The meet me sessions, as you can see on the workload, most of the um, slots were heavily full. So that gives us an indication that you really liked it, that we should provide more space next year, more tables where you can meet. We had around, um, we had exactly 149 meetings in the meeting tool with uh, 252 254 registered attendees in the meeting tool. Also here, feedback always appreciated, but I would say that was a real success. At this point, many, many thanks to our um, very friendly colleagues from NixCZ. They gave us the tool and we could um, yeah, use it here uh, for you. And that um, made our life easier. And I think the tool is also, at least the feedback I got, um, an easy tool, easy to use uh, with a good URI. I hope you liked it. Many thanks to Nick Sisset. Give some applause. <laughs> On our job board, we had at the end 38 job offers. Um, the walls are getting fuller and fuller. Uh, we see even more demand coming in and in and in. So I also think that was um, a, good, uh, a good new feature that we should uh, take it also to the next conference, or the year. Um, feedback is always uh, welcome. And uh, as there are high quality jobs from our community, I hope they also fit it in your um, expectations. Our social, yesterday at the Teufelsberg, uh, at least I think it was a re spectacular. As normally at DNOC, we don't want to go to just another restaurant or a hotel or a normal venue where you can just have dinner. We want to have an exclusive location, a location where you normally cannot go in, in a way where we can, where we can go behind the scenes or backstage or um, look at things you normally don't see. And um, as you see on the pictures on the right side, with the empty halls, it was quite an effort to bring tables in, the catering in, the light, um, even the plants <laughs> were brought in by Theo and team. So at this point, many thanks for Theo and uh, Phil. Phil is uh, from um, Momos, Mom's teams and he came from Stuttgart just to help out with the light and uh, uh, um, uh, the, the bringing the room to uh, and the uh, Sorry, my, <laughs> my wording is hanging a little bit after two, three days of conference. Thanks a lot to Theo and Phil. I start again. And for Phil, who uh, made the light, the ar arrangement, and uh, that you can, could have a good uh, feeling at um, dining. Also, the heating was also in, um, installed for us. It was running on Monday afternoon. It was very sharp uh, to even um, have a warm um, arrangement. So many thanks for organizing it. <laughs> we had on the day before the pre-social. Earlier years ago, it was an informal pre-social. Now we try, we try to make it, I don't know, if, it, if more formal or more... Um, um, more, in more organized social in, with the blind peering. Um, a lot of you attended. We also um, showed this slide in the opening. Um, also here, Theo organized this um, with the help of Florian. Many thanks uh, to do that, as said also in the opening. Also, we hope you liked it and uh, improvements are welcome here. Our sponsors, um, as also said in the opening, um, the costs of uh, the venue, of all the costs we have here is around 500 euros per person. We need to cover them. We don't, have, we don't want to have um, big uh, entrance fees. So we have sponsors. We have also 
the Berlin Congress um, fund who helps us out this year. And um, as seen here, around 70% is covered by the sponsors. So we want to like to thank them and therefore we show them um, each year. Our diamond sponsor, B Kicks, the big artist. Thank you. Our platinum sponsors, IPHH, Flex Optics, Nisevo, and NLIX. I hope you all were by there. <laughs> then our social sponsor, yesterday evening, DKICS, our lunch sponsors, IPHH, Nominos, and the lanyard sponsors, as you can see, uh, Xantaro, and the uh, coffee barista sponsor, Interlink. Many thanks to them. And our gold sponsors, Core Backbone, Nokia, Equinix, and Open Gear. <laughs> and last but not least, the support sponsors, Data Center One, Babyl, Thomas Crenn, Atlas Edge, IPB, Buttonfall Eurofiber, Link 11, and Uniberg. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dinoc Board. Um, as you know, the uh, conference is at, um, at the end. There's the association in the background, and the Dinoc Board is uh, um, yeah, doing all the work in the background to support um, the organization team, to do all the legal stuff, to sign the contracts, to uh, ensure the finances. So thank you, Dinoc Board, that you, can, that you make it possible that we can organize the conference. Thanks to our angels, we tried to scale, we scaled. We have more and more angels this year. We have the different roles. Um, we have the heroes, we have the info desk, we have the attendee wall, we have general angels running around, angels in the meet me sessions. Thank you, angels. You can pick up a present at the info point if you haven't done so right now. Thank you for your help and also the very spontaneous um, um, acts and uh, coming by. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to our speakers, as also Momo mentioned in the PC, um, the speakers of the talks, the organizers of the workshops. Um, the conference is done by you, by you all. Um, we are in the very lucky position that we have enough speakers, um, more than enough speakers that we can choose from um, the uh, talks that were um, submitted to us. So many thanks for all the people uh, volunteering here in their free time and organizing with uh, their talks and workshops this conference. Thank you. And of course, if you were just speakers and angels and orca team, that wouldn't be a conference. So thank you that you came all, that you came here to listen to the talks, that you came here on site, that you came here to network, that you came here for the meet me sessions, took a photo at the attendee wall, came to the social, be here. It's a great community. Thank you. And that's Theo. <laughs> Sorry, I was too fast. That's your slide. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. So uh, this is the same situation again. I'm standing here at the very end of the conference, and mainly for one reason, because we have these three amazing men over there that uh, guided you throughout the whole program, that organized the most of the event, actually. And uh, when they created this presentation earlier the day, then uh, I looked at this particular slide here. And um, by the way, my animation is gone. Um, and the order of the, of the people that we thank here for making this all possible was exactly the opposite. So all the names of us, the ones in the lower part of the slide, they were on top of the slide. 
And the names of the, those three here were at the very bottom. And I think this is something I would like to highlight, as I did last year in Hamburg, is that this conference is uh, the biggest one that we ever had at DNOC. And uh, the conference is just run by a very small group of people. And I would like uh, to come to the stage, uh, all the ones that helped uh, and that are part of the event team. So there are a few over there. So please come down and you guys come over here. Uh, we'd like to take a group photo and uh, yeah, just say a few last words before I hand over to Patrick and uh, we close the conference. So before we take a picture, just a few last words. So uh, those are the people that made this conference happen, that uh, yeah, took care of all the things in the back, that organized, that started organizing weeks and months ago. Um, this is an amazing amount of work uh, and a very cool team that made that happen. And especially, I would like to thank uh, Tim. Uh, I would like to thank Momo and also Patrick, but also the rest of the team for making this very cool conference happen again. Thank you. Here I am. Theo, don't go run away. <laughs> it's like, Tim already said it, but we got to highlight that once again. It's like, I saw pictures of Teufelsberg, and that was a crazy idea we had about half a year ago, where we said, hey, let's go crazy and figure out how, what we could do for a social end. Just insanely, as a joke, we said, let's go and figure out if you can rent an old NSA radio station. This is the guy who made that happen over half a year until last night, very early in the morning. That's a special applause on top of that, and very, very happy to have you in the team. Thank you. So it's not, I guess, it's up to me to close this fabulous three days. Um, for those of you who are DNOC members, there is a membership general meeting, which is not as usual at the end of the conference. You're allowed to go home, spend time with whoever you like to spend time with, or be by yourself. It's like I've heard some people might want to relax from seeing people. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, we have three positions up running. Um, we have candidates uh, for all of these positions. Um, you're welcome to become a member today before 6 p.m. our time zone. If you do so, you can still vote. Um, looking forward to see all of you. Looking forward to see you there. I think we're going to have a very interesting GM. We're going to have a lot of new people talking at the GM. We'll have a good amount of new ideas, so please join us, feel free. The invites for the Zoom invitation will go out somewhere tomorrow when all of us slept a bit at least. Going out into 2024, a tiny outlook. And I'll be fast, I know you all just want to know one thing and then leave, but I'll get there. Um, we will have meetups and we will have more meetups in cities near to you. We'll have a member day for the first time in DNOC history in March, April next year. Uh, and we'll obviously have DNOC 16. From a meetup perspective, the first one is actually settled, and that's the first time ever that we managed to settle a meetup for the next year before the conference and the year before it ends. So that's huge and very fantastic. Thanks to Centauro for committing so early. Um, 7th of February in Frankfurt. Please mark that in your calendars. 
And then also, we're going to continue to drive the community block. We're going to continue to drive the diversity and research funds and programs. Uh, and I'd like to call out again, we have a 5,000 euro com community fund for organizing stuff around developing software for the community. Uh, you're welcome to talk to us about that. That's there. It's going to be there next year as well. Most important question, next year's conference. I started that conversation with you at the beginning of the conference when I told you that DNARC basically went into a situation where it's really difficult for us to find the right space. We've hit a point where the amount of conference centers, the amount of places where we can go to have reached a scaling limitation and we've grown into something new and we need to think about that. So, what happened in 2023 basically was we needed all of 2023 to make sure that this DNOC 15 conference was as awesome as it was. I'll talk faster so that the slides stay with me for the rest of the day. Um, and that also meant we didn't have time to figure out how we'll grow that in future. So at some point, we decided to focus on this conference, make it awesome, make it fantastic. I believe that went kind of okay-ish. But also the board and the event organization made a decision to stay in Berlin for next year, to not go to a different city, but to make sure we have a setup for the size and the control that we have, and then figure out throughout the end of this year and next year how we're going to continue to travel throughout the other cities and make that awesome in other cities as well. So with that, without any further ado, uh, I'm happy to announce that DNOC 16 2024 will be in Berlin from 17th of November until 19th of November in this location. <laughs> and with that, thank you all for attending. It was wonderful to have you. Have a good trip home. Stay safe. See you hopefully in 2024. Enjoy. Have a good day.